illegal fuel trade at Oshikango, popularly known as the Ngungula service, has been on the increase for the past few years. The word Ngungula translates to sneaking around and running. Petrol prices have been on a steep increase over the past year, exceeding the $22 mark by July. While the illegal fuel trade provides a welcome relief to many motorists who cannot simply afford the high fuel price in Namibia, it comes at a cost to the owners and employees of service stations, especially in the Ohangwena region. You, know, you find the local people, they are having their own pickups. They modify tanks inside. They make, if, if the car is having one tank, they usually put like two. Then they go in, and then they fill up, and then they come, they drain it. They sell it at their own stands. It's the first time where I'm seeing a service station cannot pay salaries. It cannot pay water, it cannot pay electricity, and it cannot maintain anything. The sales drop now, so we have to retrench 23 workers. Now we, we, we close. Um, we, the fund is depleted. We have been running these service stations for over three years uh, on, on, on a loss because um, the, the fuel price has been going up as uh, like slowly by slowly but ever since the fuel price came over ten dollars most of people decided to fill up in angola we need assistance from the government number one is to stop fuel smuggling and number two to secure us financially i am in namibia doing business in namibia paying taxes to the government of namibia mm -hmm. and i am protected because i'm in a free country, but someone can just cross the border to come and kill my business or smuggle in to kill our businesses and uh, deprive the country from the income that is coming from the fuel, but the government cannot handle and uh, protect the country. What is the role of the law enforcement agencies and the government in curbing the increasing sale of illegal fuel from neighboring Angola? It's an illegal act. Uh, in all the illegal acts, you have got the law enforcement agencies. It's not the ministry. The ministry is not the law enforcement agency. If we continue to do that, we're actually destroying our own economy. And it doesn't actually help anyone. It may help you as an individual, but only for today. But the day when you are no longer able actually to drive on the road because the road is not maintained properly, I'm sure you will not feel good about it. Namibia is not exactly a free market society which is an economic system with little to no barriers to free market activity. The fuel and oil industry is regulated by the state, which issues trade licenses to companies and not individuals in order to keep the prices in check. If left unregulated, many people face losing their jobs because individual actions can have a ripple negative effect on the next person.